Tonight, police have arrested five people for a string of shootings in Abbeville. In fact, the gunfire rang out over the course of 10 days, and now police say it was part of a ruthless game of vengeance played out among young people. Let's go to WDHN's Aaron Dixon in Abbeville now for that story. After nearly two months of investigating and gathering information, the Abbeville Police Department have arrested five suspects who are accused of two shootings that happened over a 10 day span. Police arrested Demarius Jones, Gavante Kelly, Wendell Dobson Jr., Wendell Dobson III, and they arrested a 17 year old juvenile. The shootings that took place on McSween Drive on June 3rd and a shooting that took place at the intersection of Kirkland Street and Church Street on June 13th. The severity of these crimes and, and everything else, we, we weren't going to tolerate this type of behavior. In the shooting on McSween Drive, police found that an occupied building had been hit by gunfire, but luckily no one was harmed. Then, 10 days later, at the intersection of Kirkland and Church Street in Abbeville, an unoccupied building and a truck were hit by gunfire but the shooting wasn't reported until hours later. I think it's just uh, a lot of younger individuals who, who had just a little bit of animosity built up between other younger individuals and, and were, were basically playing a reckless game that they shouldn't have never been involved in. Jones is facing a $500,000 bond for shooting into an occupied home and an unoccupied car. The 17 year old juvenile is facing a $1 million bond for shooting into an occupied home, shooting into an unoccupied building, and two counts of shooting into an unoccupied car. The other three suspects were arrested and charged with receiving a stolen gun, hindering the prosecution, and drug related charges. I don't want to see these youth ruin the rest of their lives, and I sure don't want to see one of these youth wound up dead because of incidents like this. This case is still an ongoing investigation with the Abbeville Police Department as they're looking at these two shootings and the shootings that took place in July. In Abbeville, Aaron Dixon, WDHN News for The Wiregrass.